Hi, today we're going to look at congruent triangles. What are congruent triangles? Congruent triangles are triangles that are both the same shape and the same size. Are these congruent triangles? Let's have a look. Hmm, we can rotate it and reflect it, but there is no way to make them exactly the same. So no, these are not congruent triangles. How about these? Let's have a look. Hmm, we can reflect it. Ah, and look, they're exactly the same. So yes, they're congruent triangles. Yeah. What about these ones? Do you think these are congruent? Yes. And you would be correct because they're exactly the same. So they're congruent triangles. What about these two? Mm, yes. Yes, they are. Because if you put them next to each other, you can see that it's like a mirror image. One is just a reflection of the other. So yes, they're congruent triangles. What about these? Mm, I don't think so. Well, there's not enough information for us to tell because there's only one angle that's the same. The rest of it could be different. So what conditions do we need for them to be exactly the same? Are all three angles the same going to be always the same? No. You are correct. Even though they look very similar, you can have triangles that have the same angles. See, that angle is the same. That angle matches. And the top angle also matches. But they're not the same size, so they're not congruent. So having three angles the same doesn't mean they're congruent. They can be, but not always. So what information do we need? What about if the three sides are the same? Do you think they're congruent? Yeah. And you would be correct because, let's have a look. They, if I have 11 centimeters at the bottom and I had a 10 centimeter line and a 12 centimeter line, they can only match at one point. So there's only one version of that triangle. You can't draw anything else with 10 and 12. It'll always look the same. Wow. So if the three sides are the same, they are congruent. So that's the first condition to remember. S, S, S. In some textbooks, you'll see them like this. So these two are matching, the bottom are matching, and that last side is matching. What about these? Two angles and the side. Are they congruent? Mm, I'm not sure. Yes, they are. Because if you have 10 centimeters there and you want, let's say, something that has 60 centimeters, let's measure it. So from this line to 60, it's there. And I'm gonna get a ruler and rule a line. There you go at 60. Then there's only one place where the 80 degree can match up. Right there. There's no other way to put the two angles. It'll always be congruent or always be the same shape and same size. So if you have two angles and one side, that's also another congruent condition. So angle, side, angle. Awesome. You'll see in some books like this, so that those two are matching, those two are matching angles, and the bottom sides are matching. What about these? The angles in a triangles always add up to be 180. So the last angle are always going to be the same. So if one side is also the same, it's gonna be the same size and the same shape. So angle side angle. What about side angle side? So if you have two sides separated by the same angle, see, 60, 12, and 11. Are these congruent? Yes, they are. And that's because if I have two measurements separated by that angle, there's no other way to draw this triangle. So it's always going to be the same. So, side, so it's always going to be the same. So side angle side is another congruent condition. Size. So we saw that if we had two angles and a side, the order doesn't matter. But with two sides and an angle, does the order matter? Can we have angle side side, for instance? Will it always be the same? Now here we have a triangle. If I kept the same angle and the same two sides, 12 and 10, is there any other way I could draw this? Yes. I could draw the 10 on that side. And now we have two different triangles. So when we have angle that are the same, side and the other side, so two sides, it's not necessarily the same. So it's only the same if the angle is in between the two sides. So there's a condition in where it's angle side side that are the same, but it only happens when the angle is 90 degrees. Let me show you. If the angle is 90 degrees 
and then you have the hypotenuse or the longer side across from the 90 degrees and one of the sides to be the same you're always going to get a congruent triangle so the way to remember this is right angle hypotenuse and side so if these three are the same then the last side will also be the same so these are the four things that you have to remember today three sides SSS angle side angle SAS side angle side and right angle hypotenuse side now remember with angle side angle it's two angles and any one side but with side angle side it has to be the angle in the middle of the two sides you can't have the angle on one side there is no as in maths remember that wow Let's practice writing our answers when we see these types of questions. So if I ask you, these two are congruent, what would you say? Yes. And the reason being? It is S, S, S. So let's give the three sides. So we have A, B is matching to? E, F. And we have B, C, the 12 centimeters, is matching with? D, F. And lastly, the A, C is matching with? D E, and we make sure that we write them like this. This is how we state the sides, and therefore we have the statement. Therefore, triangle A B C is congruent. This is a symbol for congruent triangle D E F, and we write down the condition in the bracket. So make sure you write all of this whenever we ask you: Are these two triangle congruent? You would say, "This is a fact. This is a fact. This is a fact." Therefore. Yes, it is, and the reason. What about these? Are these congruent? Hmm, I'm not too sure about that. And you're correct. The three angles that are the same, it's not one of the four conditions. Let's have a look. See, it's not one of these four conditions. I was trying to trick you. Nice job. You didn't get tricked. Have a look at these six questions. Let's see if you can figure out which conditions they meet or if they don't meet any. Pause the video and unpause when you're ready. So for these two triangles, we have three angles and one side, but we can see that we only need two angles and a side to satisfy the condition angle side angle. So for this one, we can see that it has the same angle, one same side and one that doesn't match. So we actually don't have enough information. For the pink one over here, we can see that it's the right angles that are matching, the hypotenuse and a side. So it matches the condition RHS. And the purple one, we have the two angles that are the same and one side so it matches angle side angle let's have a look at the orange one it's got three sides that are the same so it matches side 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 and the red one is quite tricky it has the right angle that's the same but we can see that it's not the hypotenuse that matches it's two sides and if you think about it, it's two sides with one angle in the middle. So it's actually side, angle, side. Let's do a couple more practices and then we'll do some tough questions. Let's have a look at this. So we have side, angle, angle. So we have to describe that. We have the side AB matches. DE. And then this angle here, the angle A or BAC matches. EDF. And we have angle ACB or angle C matches angle. EFD. So we have our three statements and we write, therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. And don't forget the condition ASA in brackets. What about this one? So we have the right angle, the hypotenuse, and the side. So let's name the things that match. So the right angle is the same. ACB matches EDF. And then we have the side AB, whoop, the hypotenuse, matches EF. And the side AC matches ED. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Don't forget, write the statement in the bracket. Here are some triangles for you to match up. Figure out which one matches with which and what condition you will use. There's one condition missing out of the four. See if you can figure it out. Pause and unpause the video when you're ready for solutions. So here we have the blue ones 
have three sides that are matching, so SSS, and then we have the purple ones, all three of them match up because they have two angles that are the same and one side, so ASA is what we want. Then we have the pink ones, have two sides that are the same with the angle in between, remember it's SAS. And lastly, oh, I'm gonna move. And lastly, the yellow ones have two angles and a side that are matching. Did you get those? Hopefully you got those right too. And the condition that we didn't use was the right angle, hypotenuse and side. Last two questions. These are going to be quite tricky. Now this time we'll be given that the triangles are already congruent and we have to find the pronumerals. We can't just say that one matches that one, that one matches that one. We have to use what they're given us. So we say that the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BCD. So you actually have to write this statement. And then we can say, let's have a look. Um, oops, I mean it fell over. Okay. After you've written this statement, then you can say, well, AB, so this side here, is equivalent to BD that side, therefore y is equal to 8 centimeters. So you have to state that that side is equal to that side, therefore that letter is equal to that number. You can't just say y equals 8. Um, then we have angle ACB, so this right angle in here, so remember the middle letter is the angle we're looking at, is equal to BCD, the other side. So therefore x is equal to that 90 degrees. And lastly, that 70 degrees is Z. How do we describe that? Well, there's no other angle here. See, this angle could have been different ones. C is confusing. You have to have three letters. But the angle A can be just written as angle A is equal to angle D, and therefore Z is equal to 70 degrees. Now, very last question's coming up. Um, it's going to be a tricky one. But for the given that types of question, remember you start with what you're given, and then you solve. This is the reverse question. It's going to be tricky. Prove that the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BCD. Now, whenever you see the word proof, you're going to put therefore the answer because that's what we're trying to show. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BCD and the statement that you're using. That should be the last sentence. Remember, given that, this, that sentence at the start and prove that, that sentence at the bottom. So let's do this. So we're going to use triple S because we have no angles to describe here. So we can see that AB is equal to AC. And we can see that BD is equal to CD. And lastly, there's a middle line there of the top triangle, which is exactly the same as the middle line of the bottom triangle. So A to D is in common. So make sure you write that word whenever you're trying to describe that. So to get full marks for this question, you have to write it like so. So copy it down. Now, don't forget the four congruency condition. Write them down, memorize them. You'll need them for the next video. Thank you for being so patient. I know it's a very tricky and long video. Maybe watch it again at a slow speed or watch it again at the speed you're comfortable with. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Who are you? Oh well, just subscribe, like and hit the no notification bell. <laughs> Bye! See you in the next video.